Hey guys, Jamison Redding here with Jackson Kayak, and I want to talk to you today about my top three go-to setups for kayak fishing. First, I have here a medium seven-foot spinning rod. It's a Rain Shadow Immortal Blank, and I've got it paired with a 3000 um, reel. This is a Shimano Stratic CI4 3000. Really, any 3000 will work. It's got plenty of drag, and I'm going to put 15 to 20 pound braid on that with a little bit of backing first just so that the line doesn't spin on the reel. Some reels are actually ready for braid. So if you're not ready for braid, a little bit of mono. And then I've got about 150 to 200 yards of 15 to, two, to 20 pound braid. I use braid because in a kayak, a lot of times when you go to set the hook, you'll actually pull the boat. So having that braid, you, you lose all that stretch and you're able to really get a good hook set. However, Sometimes when you're working a finesse lure, which is what I use the spinning setup for, the fish have more time to look at that line. So even though the braid's a dark green, I like to top that off with some fluorocarbon, and I just kind of match the fluorocarbon to what I'm fishing for. If they don't have teeth, you can get away with really light fluorocarbon, eight, 10, 12 pound. If you're moving up and you're snook fishing or something like that, and they've got those sharp gill plates, you can step on up into 30 and 40 pound class fluorocarbon range. I typically just put enough on there so whatever fish I'm fishing for, if it's got you know, sharp gill plates, uh, sharp fins, whatever it is, I've got that covered. So anywhere from a foot and a half up to three feet. I'm gonna use a double uni to connect that to the actual braided line. So that's kind of my go-to finesse. I use that for jerk baits, soft plastics, a lot of things like that. Moving up a little bit, I've got my bait caster here. This is actually a medium light. It is a fast action bait caster. Depending on the rod manufacturer, you can go medium light or medium. You kind of check the rods because that's not a standard. And sometimes you'll find that medium light might feel like another manufacturer's medium. Again, this is a Rain Shadow Immortal Blank, seven foot three with a fast action. I use this mostly for top water. I've got a Shimano Corrado 70 on here. So I've got about 120 yards or so of 30 pound braid. And again, I go to the fluorocarbon leader. This gives me plenty of strength when I want to set the hook and a little bit lighter action because this top water does have treble hooks um, will allow the fish and some give to it. But again, you're fishing from a kayak. The fish will actually move the kayak, so you, you don't need super heavy gear, um, but keeping that stretch out of uh, the line is gonna help you get a better hook set. So typically I use this for top waters, pop sheds. Um, I've got a spook one knocker on here right now. Um, or even if I'm gonna use anything else with treble hooks like crankbaits, this will be my go-to setup. And last but not least, I've got a medium heavy here. I throw my heavier swim baits, or for example, a chatter bait uh, or spinner bait setup. I would throw on this, a little bit heavier lure, um, and I'm gonna be knocking in closer to the, the, the bottom. So I, there's a bigger chance that I might get actually hung up and stuff. So I know that I'm gonna be able to pull myself over to it, get it undone. I've got plenty of rod strength to pull big fish out, and I can throw a heavier lure with this. So it's gonna allow me to cast a little bit better and a little bit further. I've got this one paired with an uh, Okuma, Helios. This is a six to one gear ratio. You can play around with different gear ratios. On my top water, I have a little bit faster one, so when I'm walking that spook, I can get that really good walk if I want to speed it up. But also you can slow it down. So play around with the different gear ratios. Again, 30 pound braid on my bait casters, 15 to 20 on my spinning rods, and braid to fluorocarbon leader. I use that for 85, 90% of everything I fish for, I can catch it on this. Anything from bull reds, all the way down to small speckled trout, freshwater fishing for bass, smallmouth, big striper, whatever it is, I can get it done with these three setups.